Hi everyone, it's Kayvon with Ascari Art. So I'm gonna try to do a rose. So let's give it a shot. So I've put my alcohol in one of these bottles. Um, this gives me a little fine point pen effect. So this allows me to control the alcohol better. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna just do a little circle here. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, something like that. That right there. And what I'm using today, I'll be using uh, cranberry and fiesta. So I'm gonna try two colors, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some of the cranberry in the middle. Oops. So we're gonna do that. And it's gonna naturally move because I think uh, paper's not really the most level. So, and then I'm just gonna move it around with my little Giotto, You could do this with your blow dryer or Okay, let's add some of the paint and make sure we add trying to get away from me. So all I'm doing is just going in circles. <laughs> and letting it sit and then going to another circle. Letting it sit. Try not to let it overlap. Try not to. Okay, oops, I don't want that to escape us. All right, so then I'm gonna put a little bit more drops in the middle. I think I messed this one up, but we'll see. My blow dryer is set to hot, um, only because I want it to dry quickly. Okay.
Okay, so now I've got like the basic shape. Uh, let's see, I need a very, 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 very fine brush. So all I'm doing right now is I'm just trying to add some lines. Don't be afraid. And what flowers do is, I've got a picture of one here, just to show you. I don't know if you can see it, but what it does is it kind of, the petals will intermingle with each other, and it's really hard with alcohol ink to try to do that. So, and usually the, the surrounding area is the darkest. So, we need to have a, a center. See how I'm kind of going back and forth and trying to make that happen. Um, okay, where's my cup? So I've got a cup here with a little bit of alcohol and I'm just kind of mixing it and going through it. Now you can achieve this probably with just alcohol. As I'm doing it, I'm kind of seeing Now this brush is probably not the best for this, but So what I'm doing is I'm actually not drawing the edge, I'm actually drawing the center of the petal. So like if I want to do this part right here, I'm just going to fill in the center and push the ink to the edge. To give me that center. So I got, the petals are going to get bigger, so we're going to do this. I'm just filling it in. And then we're going to go this way. Make sure you, you load up your, your brush. So I want to make that line, but you don't make that line by drawing it. You make it by emptying out the center and um, moving the link, the ink to the line. So let's do that right here. See? And then let's do a little bit right here. I'm just like doing the dead petals here, like the bigger, wider petals. See, all I'm doing is just going in there I'm doing the center of the petal, so I want this one to go this way. And I'm controlling it by pushing it to the edge. And there you have it. I mean, 
to be honest with you, this is probably my first or second attempt. Um, as you can see, it looks like a fairly realistic rose. Now I can go in there and add more detail if I want. I can um, go in there and just, you know, just put a drop and move it. You know, like that, you know, you can, but remember, try not to draw the line of the petal. You don't want to draw the edge of the petal. You want to paint in the center of the petal and push the ink to the edge like that. So that's all you have to do. So if I want to add more detail, you just dab your brush. You know, you can keep going. So there you have it. And you know, if you want to do like the green on the edge, I'm going to do, let's see, meadow, I guess. I don't know, I've got a lot of greens, but we'll do a Tim Holtz meadow. And typically, it's going to be a little more difficult because now you're adding the green on the bottom and you don't want it to kind of mix. So we'll just do that. And let's see if we can pinpoint. You can kind of, like, I've never done this before. Again, this is uh, how you would, I would think a rose petal would be or a rose stem would be. I haven't really, oh, my brush isn't clean. That's great. But you get the idea. I mean, you could probably, like, do some kind of, like, cool abstract edge by just letting it drip. Something like that. And you can have a flower here, you could have a flower here, and you, that's how you make a bushel. Bushel? Bouquet? I don't know. <laughs> well, it's Kayvon with Ascari Art. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and I'll zoom in so you can kind of see the detail of the rose. But I think, I mean, for a first attempt, not bad. Again, you can go in there and add more detail, but uh, it takes practice. I think, I think. I could probably perfect it if I keep practicing at it, and as you you would as well. Um, you know, just keep practicing, keep trying it, and good luck. All right, take care.